The Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris is undergoing a big expansion. While we've discussed this a couple of times in the channel, today I will give you an in-depth overview of the plans, talk about some rumors and check on the construction, as there have been some new updates showing up lately. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new and enjoy the video, consider subscribing as that would help us out reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. Before we start, let's review what was announced several years ago for the park. Disney showcased this concept art, where we can explore the additions to Paris' second gate. If you're anything like me, you're probably a bit exhausted of seeing this picture, but unfortunately, it's the only one that contains the whole thing. So let's make this quick. The new part of the park will be connected by this huge street that will lead us from the entrance to the lake. Around the lake there are supposed to be two different lands, Frozen and Star Wars. The second one has likely been cancelled or changed to a different theme, but we'll get into that later on. Frozen has started construction and is moving on in a good pace, just as the lake, street and more. Ok, so with that out of the way, let's start with Arendelle The World of Frozen. Here things are picking up in quite a fast way. This photo was taken in May of this year and this one just a few days ago. There is quite a difference, especially in the lake area as there wasn't one and, well, now there is. Here I painted everywhere that will eventually have water, so you can start to visualize what it will look like. The village of Arendelle will mainly be a large street leading to the castle. Works have been happening on the foundations and I am pleased to say that Frozen has gone vertical. Now, if you're a bit confused when seeing these photos, this plan should help you out. Here you can see everything or almost everything that is being built as we speak. This is Arendelle with the attraction show building, restaurant and meet and greet locations all interconnected. The ride will be significantly larger than its Epcot counterpart with even more scenes, so it will be fun to explore. Jack from DSNY Newscast made a great video explaining the layout of the land, so if you're interested, make sure to check that out. When I was researching for this video, I found this photo where you can see the frozen ride elements, in this case probably parts of the ride system. These have been here for quite some time, as the ride was supposed to open in 2022. Let's leave Frozen and go to the promenade area. We talked about this in very detail in our video Everything Disneyland Paris announced in D23 Expo, so you can check it out. Here guests will encounter Art Nouveau theming, and some things I personally wasn't expecting. Starting from the bottom to the top, there will be a new entrance to Toy Story Playland, an English-themed garden with a new outdoor theater and a small spinning ride, teacup style, themed to Tangled. Now, focusing on Tangled, this looks a bit weird as we don't know the full details at the moment. By looking at this photo, you can see the pond, the attraction and the themed toilets that look to be disconnected from the Tangled garden. But what are these smaller buildings? Unfortunately, I don't have a response to this, but we do know that this building will be backstage area to support the attraction. So, as much as I would love a Tangled Miniland, I could see this area being completely backstage, with a barrier or door right here. Seeing the construction photos once again, it looks like not much work has been done in this area of the expansion as of yet. Either way, if we continue moving on in the promenade, we reach this area. Here in the concept art, there's this building that is not represented in the blueprints. The purpose is unknown. I would say that it could be a small shop, similar to these ones in Epcot, but uh, we shall see. Now in the lake, there will be two gardens, one themed to Frozen and the other still to be announced. One thing that's very noticeable is the giant table service restaurant, with Art Nouveau theming. 
in here you will be able to meet some of your favorite characters and enjoy breathtaking views of the lake. And perhaps there will also be special dinner packages to watch the rumored nighttime spectacular. More on that later. This restaurant will have 250 seats and a bar, bringing some much needed food options to the Walt Disney Studios Park. There will be several paths around the World Show, uh, I mean Lake. Tell me it doesn't look like Epcot. This will provide a more adventurous feeling. Three levels of docks will be built to watch the shows that end up being produced for the lake. As seen in this plan, this part of Walt Disney Studios could have a parade that will go through this possible route. Now, the lake is obviously already dug out and it looks quite impressive. And if you notice, they are already installing the concrete walls that will surround everything. Now, regarding Star Wars, I made a whole video about how Galaxy's Edge might have been cancelled, but now there are some more rumors regarding what might arrive in some years. A couple of months ago, WDWNT released an article saying that Imagineering might be looking at the possibility to build a Lion King themed land. Well, according to the information I received and was shared by Ali, Disney is still to decide on the theme, and Star Wars is still very much in the game as it looks like it's still an option. Unfortunately, I don't think we will get an update on this land very soon, but who knows? Going back to the whole nighttime show thing, how would something like this happen? What kind of show could it be? Well, I hope I can answer some questions. What other Disney parks have shows in their lakes? There's Disneyland with Fantasmic, Epcot with Illuminations and now Harmonious, and Tokyo Disney Sea with also Fantasmic. The funny thing is that Tokyo actually ended their fully water-based Fantasmic show a couple of years ago, and several rumors indicate that Disneyland Paris bought the barges for a new nighttime spectacular. But how did it happen? Well, the barges would be stored in this backstage maintenance basin and would make their way into the lake passing by Frozen. But wait, these are normally quite tall. Well, that's why Disney built a rotating bridge right here. If you think about it, Epcot also has something similar, but their bridge goes upwards, not sideways. Other rumors say that Paris only bought the barges, not the entire show. So, it's possible to be an entirely different thing, or a new version of Fantasmic. For the opening date, when can we expect this new frozen lake and promenade areas to open? Before the pandemic, the lake and frozen areas were supposed to open in 2022, and Star Wars in 2023 or 24. This is obviously not going to happen as construction was halted for quite some time and didn't return to full strength until some months ago, with the end of the works in Avengers Campus. So, when? Disney hasn't said anything about this, but we can try to understand. This is what Hong Kong's version looked like in July 2020, and it will be opening in the second half of 2023, let's say September. So, this makes it 26 months from that stage to opening. Going back to Paris, here construction is still to reach that point. So, let's add two more months to the 26, leaving us with 28 months, or about two and a half years from now. This gives us an opening date of early 2025. But there are several factors that I didn't have in consideration, such as Hong Kong's limited workforce due to Covid. This could mean that if Disney really invests in getting this ready, which fortunately might be the case, we could see Arendelle opening in time for the 2024 Summer Olympics that will take place in Paris. But to be safe, I would say between late 2024 and early 2025. So, what are you most excited for coming to Walt Disney Studios in the future? And what would you like to see built in the Star Wars area? Let me know down below so we can have a chat. If you enjoyed the video, 
please consider subscribing and liking. And if you're interested, make sure to check our fan shop where you can find designs from the channel. And now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap. Thank you.